If the chart of accounts is considered the backbone of an accounting system, transactions are its lifeblood. One of the main reasons to set up an accounting system is to keep track of these transactions. So what are they exactly? A transaction, in a very general sense, is the record left behind after an exchange of monetary value has occurred. If that doesn't make sense quite yet, don't worry. We'll go through plenty of examples in this video and have you entering and recording transactions in no time. Let's look at some example transactions to showcase a couple of points. To see your transactions, you'll click Accounting and then click Transactions. The transaction screen is where you can see all of the transactions created in Billy. Billy automatically creates transactions for you when you invoice clients, enter bills, record payments, and a variety of other actions. When we click on a transaction, we can see a quick summary of the description. Here we can see that I received payment from Mesmeric Balance in the amount of $200. This is an example of a record left behind after an exchange of value had occurred. If I wanted to see why Billy created this transaction, I can click on the link below the origin header and trace it back to the bank payment that I recorded. If I want to see which invoice this bank payment was recorded for, I'll click on the invoice number, which will bring me back to the original invoice that I sent to my client. As I mentioned earlier, Billy will take care of adding transactions when you do everyday activities, like invoice clients, enter bills, or record payments. There are, however, a couple of special transactions that you'll need to make sure to enter to keep your accounting system up to date. To see these transaction types, you can click on the New Transaction button on the top right. If you need to record an owner's draw or contribution, you can select one of the first two options. This is when an owner of the business takes money out of the business or invests more money in the business. This is also where you'll record transfers between your bank accounts or credit cards. Before you record a bank transfer, you should note that this is only for bank accounts within the business, not for transfers between your personal account and your business bank account. To record a bank transfer, you'll want to make sure you have both accounts set up in Billy and payments enabled for these accounts. First, select the date of the bank transfer. Then select the account you're transferring money from and the account you're transferring money to. In this example, we're recording the transfer of money from our business checking account to our business savings account. After entering the amount and adding a description, I have the option to upload a transfer confirmation if I want. Finally, I can click Approve to record the transfer. You should also note that when you're entering this information in Billy, you're recording a transfer that has already taken place. Entering a bank transfer in Billy will not actually move any money around in your bank accounts. You'll need to do that on your own. Lastly, we have manual transactions. These are usually only applicable for financial professionals. We don't suggest entering one of these unless you have experience in finance or accounting. If you have any questions about transactions in Billy, please let us know. We're happy to help.